gosh. I know. It has been <laughs> forever. And um, I just woke up this morning and decided that I could not possibly let another day go by without checking in with all of my beautiful, um, amazing, creative, project life, scrapbooking souls. Um, I feel like every single year, right about this time, I end up posting a video um, that is an apology video. <laughs> and it's like, so I've been gone for a while and I'm so sorry. Uh, but it is the nature of my life. Um, once school resumes, then the activities resume as well. And I'm back to my kind of normal schedule and not my summer schedule. And that means everything is just chaotic, beautifully chaotic. Um, my little guy, he's got drumming lessons and then band practice, my big guy, he's got high school stuff going on and lacrosse practice and lacrosse games and now he's going to parties and this and a that and I am literally, I'm holding on <sighs> and trying just to keep it together. And I don't mean that in a way that it's it's a bad thing, right? I mean, for those of you out there that are holding on to, you know what I mean. Like, we love the fact that we have the joy of having other people in our lives, which keeps us holding on and crazy and chaotic. And we wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't have it any other way. But it just means I'm a little bit you know, wonky. <laughs> and it makes it difficult for me to scrapbook. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to say, but I have tried to be conscious of being authentic and being, not being, and seeing joy and being joyful even in the messiness and trying to be my healthiest and perhaps most joyful self and I, I try to practice that like consciously practice that and part of what that means for me is that I carve out moments to be creative. Um, I need that. Like, I need to be creative. And sometimes the most creativity I can carve out in my life is moving my bun from the left to the right side of my head. But I don't want that to be the essence of my creativity, right? I mean, I also want it to be about the memory keeping that I do because it's about creativity, but it's also about something much deeper and that's important to me. And so that's easy for me to do in the summer when my schedule is relaxed. That's challenging to do during the fall and winter um, and early spring when it is jam packed with stuff going on. Um, the other thing that I've been working on and focused on over the last few months is one, being intentional about finding space to be creative, but also finding and making space for me to exercise my physical self. So like creativity is this way and this opportunity to exercise my kind of creative self but I also want to exercise my physical self. And so because I've been intentional about that, I've done a better job with that. During the school year, it gets messy. And so often I haven't made time for that part of me. Um, so far in the last mm, four weeks, I've been doing, I guess, uh, a decent job with that. I'm gonna continue to to, to work on that. Um, and that makes me feel strong. 
like a more complete human being, but the creative piece is missing. And so I wanted to share that with you. I don't know if any of you ever find that um, in your own lives where this one thing that you've been intentional about, you're doing really well. Maybe you've said you're gonna be more intentional about being there for your partner, right? I mean, that that's a thing. You could say, this is the thing that I need to work on. I need to show up and be present and be intentional about that with my partner. Um, or it's about exercising, taking care of your physical self or eating more fruits and veggies. Like there are lots of different ways that we um, can move closer to being um, our fullest and most joy center itself. But the creativity, I think, is everything. Like, I just, it gives me that extra, maybe it's almost a centering, right? Um, it's, it's this space where I'm not always intellectually up here in my head or worrying about schedules or any of that. Like, it's, it's almost like I can empty myself and just be in the moment of the glue and the glitter and the stickers, right? I mean, and being in that moment um, gives me peace and joy and all that kind of good stuff, right? So I've got to do better for myself. I hope that you, and if you have ideas about how you do that, how you navigate, um, when and where you choose to show up for yourself, particularly around creativity. I'd love to know your strategies. Um, but more than anything, because I didn't know what I was going to say, more than anything, I wanted to check in with all of you. And I wanted to say, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm still breathing. I'm still walking and kooky. And, um, and I miss you. I... Um, I miss the exchange of ideas, the creative energy that flows when you guys post comments and thoughts, and I appreciate that. And so it is not out of lack of appreciation that I don't post more often. It is simply because I'm in the eye of chaos. <laughs> um, but I wanted to let you know that. Um, and I wanted to extend um, just hugs. <laughs> I wanted to say I miss you guys and I do miss you. And I wanted to send you lots of hugs, creative energy, and joy. And so I have no idea when I will post another video. Literally. I wish I could tell you on Monday morning there will be a video, but I can't tell you that because this weekend the lineup of activities it's mind-blowing. Um, so I can't tell you when, but what I can say is that I'm thinking of you and I miss you and that I am sending you hugs, love, and creative joy. Bye!